Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Let's continue our discussion about Tartarians. If you don't know anything about this, I recommend you to watch the previous video on this topic. There's a playlist waiting for you to watch. Please check the description box to find out more. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This is Lady Florence Norman on her electric scooter in year 1916. So much for electric scooters being a new invention. Pre-World War II. Illustration of Zeppelins using direct energy weapons. There are so many things hidden from the public eye. This photo shows the Empire State Building used as a docking point and a charging point for the Zeppelins. Giant magnets are found all throughout the world. They are so common that you would think that they had a function. They are positioned in the center of cities that happen to look like circuit boards. These were made to either store, transmit, or balance energy in a city. Amazing and grandiose architecture created by our ancestors are even by today's standards unreplicable. However, we can't for sure pinpoint the date of building these ancient buildings, as his story has always been rewritten by the winners. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The enormity of what is coming will indeed shock the world. Evil vile empires have been built and thriving in plain sight. The cities, created by the Tartarians, were magnificent and grandiose in size. The Duomo di Milano is a Gothic cathedral of great dimensions. You don't suppose they built this with horses? Atmospheric ether generator caught on camera in one of the temples in India. Most likely it was activated by accident, due to having the inner electrical tech removed already. Paris then and now. See and feel the difference. We went from architectural work of art to tall gray cubes, and they tell us we are living in the pinnacle of human achievement. The first Apple I computer sold in 1975 for, you guessed it, $666.66. .66. ancient temple in India, with mechanical architecture and antennas on top for producing the free energy. Da Vinci's pretty amazing and accurate drawing of the flower of life. Principles for the development of a complete mind. 1. Study the science of art. 2. Study the art of science. 3. Develop your senses, especially learn how to see. 4. Realize that everything connects to everything else. Leonardo da Vinci. Obviously, they hired the same architects, so they could build monuments and fight each other in wars. Not. Sometimes you don't have to go deep into the cave like Alice. The best way to hide the truth is to put it in plain sight. Although to see it, you have to be awake and wearing those glasses like in the They Live movie. Mixing technology, architecture and spirituality could only be achieved by a civilization that possessed all three things. Electromagnetic flying saucers, as depicted by ancient Incans and Mayans, and many other ancient cultures. Incans believed ancient temple had been built by the gods who created the world. Gods are our ancestors that brought the technology to this primitive world you decide, but at that time race with such a high technology would sure be considered gods. Temple of Sidi I in Abydos, Egypt. According to the mainstream, it dates from 13th century BC. The hexagonal symbol of the flower of life that appears in Egypt and other ancient cultures. 
It encodes the geometry of space, but expressed in 2D as an orthogonal geometric projection. The hexagonal grid motif was considered sacred because it is literally the basis of chemistry. It is a geometric matrix of spatial geometry which dictates the possible shapes formed by the vibrating energy present in all phenomena such as light, electricity, magnetism, etc. This is a system that encodes the dimensional and higher dimensional properties of light. This is a fractal language of the universe which is based on spherical toroidal harmonics. The flower of life helps us to understand we live in a universe made of light harmonics and resonance, that harmony is a physical and universal law of order. Supposedly this is an old fountain. Does this look like a device to you? Schoner Brunnen, 14th century. Germany. These pictures are actually taken from the different temples or churches, it's definitely not about little green metallic aliens that the Hollywood industry is purposely trying to sell you, in order to manipulate you into believing that hostile aliens exist. Those movies serve a purpose, so that they can pave the way for their fake alien invasion psyop. In regards to real aliens. We are those aliens. We are that highly technologically advanced civilization. Etheric swords which according to the Ishmaelian British Museum belongs to Henry VIII. The fact is that swords that used etheric energy to charge themselves with light have already been seen, more or less like in the Star Wars. Would it be far-fetched that this technology existed in the past? What do you think they were filled with? Red mercury and liquid state, the philosopher's stone. Royal Exhibition Building, in Melbourne, old Tartarian building with an organ made out of steel, after the reset, it was removed. Antennas, capacitors, resonators, horn resonators. Giant steel organ tuned into a certain frequency. All this equipment, it was not to worship the god, it was built with a purpose of healing. They knew everything about the frequencies, energies and vibrations. They could produce and control them using sound. Ancient giant doors made for giant people. Why would anyone build giant doors if giants did not exist in the past? Unusually large steps. Palenque, Mexico. Is it possible that the giants had something to do in building these pyramids? Levitation technology works by applying electricity through coils that generate an electromagnetic field. Does this mean that the gravity does not exist? In 1687, the occultist and magus, Isaac Newton, published Principia, which hypotheses gravitation, and included all the efforts of the Freemasons Pythagoras, Copernicus, Bray, Kepler, and Galileo before him. One person who strongly opposed gravity theory was Nikola Tesla. When he was asked for his opinion, Tesla gave a scathing analysis of the theory of relativity, calling it a magnificent mathematical garbage which fascinates dazzles and makes people blind to the underlying errors. The theory is like a beggar clothed in purple whom ignorant people take for a king. Nikola Tesla The body becomes what the foods are, as the spirit becomes what the thoughts are. You are what your deep driving desire is. As your desire is, so is your will. As your will is, so is your deed. As your deed is, so is your destiny. Find the good. Find the blessings. Thank you all for your tremendous support. Thank you all for sharing this video. Much love. Zach. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.